where nothing is excluded. So the chattering mind has also a place. But there is no conflict. Now, when there is only the chattering mind, there is only conflict. But it, you know, for example, in many traditions, well, it's not in the tradition themselves, themselves, it is in the commentaries. The many comment people are who are commenting, they say we have to kill the ego. So this is a really funny point of view because first of all before killing the ego, let's look for what it is. And secondly, if you find it, who is going to kill it? <laughs> what is this part which is going to kill it? That is, The ego and the killer are also a division. So this is the point of view only from the ego. This is the point of view only from the chattering mind. From the silent mind there is no point of view. Now if you ask, can the silent mind could the silent mind last going on? You're back into the conditioning. Time becoming. This quality has nothing to do with time. I know that might sound completely alien, I don't know how to call it. But silent mind has nothing to do with time, nothing to do with space, nothing to do with identity, what we call the ego. I don't know how to express it. What, what we try to do through that kind of talks is to think, trying to think together, even. The one who is speaking is not very important. The thing is thinking together, because what is said is, is bringing everyone into the same process of thinking. This is what is important. That's what I was telling you just before. The very process of all together, thinking together on the same point, on the same focus, is bringing a quality of energy. Now there is a second part which is listening to that energy. Sensing it. When I say listening, I mean sensing it. If you are taken 100% into the thinking process, this is as usual. The chattering mind can be can go on when you're alone, uh, wherever. We can see that pretty often people are just speaking alone. And if they don't speak, sometimes we can see that they are thinking a lot. So there's nothing wrong with this. It's okay. This is the chattering mind. The well, we can try to had, adding is not a good word, but what we can try to realize is listening to the movement of the thinking. Not the thoughts, not the ideas, not the beliefs, but the process of thinking. You understand the difference? Yes, I know. <laughs> no, I don't understand the difference. So you have to come back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> because you are the process of thinking. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah
process of thinking? No, no. <coughs> I'm sorry. How to look to the process of thinking? <coughs> because you are the process of thinking. <coughs> there is no how. There is no way. Either you do it or you don't. When I am thinking, I don't know how I do this. But I am thinking. And the thoughts come to me. <laughs> so, welcome to the club. <laughs> so, <coughs> uh, we <coughs> I cannot stop them. They are coming. Okay, it's okay. Yeah. Ask your neighbor. You see, you, you're, very, you're very ordinary. We all are very ordinary. What we're talking about is being very serious. That is not letting this movement of thought, which is a drug percent condition, This chattering thought is not yours, it is the movement of the human thought, human thinking. There's nothing special with you. It is, it's a process which is the conditioned mind, which has evolved for millions of years up to today. It does not belong to you. It's very impersonal. But we have this reaction, thinking, of saying, this is my thinking. It is not yours. The thought you have most probably are not the same as the one of your neighbors. I hope so. <laughs> because there, are, there have been already political programs to bring such a strong conditioning in people's mind that they were whole thinking exactly the same thing. And we know the result. Now, it's very dangerous. Now, uh, because it brings a lot of suffering. Now, it has nothing to do with the ideas. We all know what it is. You know, you just, I don't know, in your armchair and you're thinking. In fact, you are not thinking. The thought is going on. You're not doing anything. It goes on and on and on and on and on. Yes, that, that, I, that, I, that I said. The thinking is a process you, I, I cannot control. Yeah, because it doesn't belong to you. Yeah. And so forget how, it. And how, um, how thinking about thinking? How think? So, how is work this thinking? Mm -hmm. Because it doesn't belong to me. It uh, it is uh, um, working uh, with me. It's okay. a paradox. Doesn't belongs to me, but it's working with me. Okay. Can you can you stop making the problem of that? It is like, you know, people on the street, sometimes, one morning you wake up and there are workers on the street. They are rebuilding the road or the... And that's how it is. Can you... So sometimes we say, well, what is this? You know, they're making noise and this and that or the other. Or the Neighbor will say, well, it's very beautiful, they're making a new road. And, and uh, somebody else will say, well, I'm, I'm fed up because they have, they have stopped the traffic. These are the thoughts. But reality is reality. People are here working. Now, can you... Can you accept this movement? And not make a problem out of it? The moment you accept this movement of thinking, 
you can't stop watching it. Watching does not mean, oh, I'm thinking this and that, and uh, I'm thinking about, I don't know, the, the red uh, coat of my grandmother. Oh, by the way, my grandmother, she has a new house. Oh, well, I should buy a house too. And oh, what kind of kitchen? Is that? That's how it works. So, not to get involved into the object of the th of the thinking, not get involved into the thoughts themselves. Not, how could we say, not to be identified with this process, because this process does not belong to you. Just to watch it. Now, watching it, you might start seeing that in between two thoughts, there is a relationship. Uh, they call it association. Now, the moment you see there is an association, the quality of watching is more intense. When the quality of watching becomes, sorry to say, become, is more intense, there is something very strange that happens. It is that the process slows down. When the intensity of watching is very powerful, the movement of thought stops. <clears throat> so you're not doing anything with your thought. Just accept it as it is and watch it. The only fact of watching is slowing down the process. When the process is slowing down, it releases a quality of, as I call it before, energy, and this energy reinforces the capacity of watching. And the capacity of watching as a strange power, it is that it makes the thing that we are watching disappearing. When the watched is disappearing, there is another step, which is that the watcher is also disappearing. then only one thing remains, is the watching, the sensing. This is what is called consciousness in, in traditions, the, the perception. And this perception brings, from time to time, in a split moment, insight of understanding. And it resolves questions. So it might sound a kind of miraculous process, but uh, it is not so miraculous. So now, if we make a, this is what we do very often. We make a problem of everything. That's what I just thought with this evening, saying that, look how we do. We take something which is within us, we put it outside, and we run after it. You know, sometimes like, uh, I would like to be rich. So I'm going to look if there is any rich thing outside to acquire it. Now, if we pass from the thing to the quality, that is, I don't want to be rich, I want to be richness. I don't want to be conscious of something, I want to be consciousness. Now the trick is that I am already that consciousness. 
and that consciousness is this quality of perception. That is, perception means the five senses plus the thinking. So you don't have to stop anything. And you don't have to worry about the, sen the five senses or the thinking, just to be aware of them. What stops us from being aware of that is the habit of living a life, I would say a, a petty life, sorry, but we are great. We are the great gentle, greatness of life. And we always have this, not always, but sometimes we have this idea that we are a little thing, that we are petty. No, 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 we are the greatness, greatness of life. Without life we are not. So it is with this that we have to watch. It doesn't have anything to do with accumulating experiences or accumulating knowledge. Uh, how could we... To be a learner, to be a learner, being a learner. You, you understand a learner? It is to be in that state where I am always learning, not finding fixed conclusions that I will use tomorrow, but being into this movement of a permanent learner. Then the, this quality of 